to tell. Where should I even start? With all that we saw, what we heard, what we felt, this planet of ours, destiny, our part in it. Best to start at the beginning, perhaps. Midgar, the city of Mako, ruled by the Shinra Electric Power Company, who drained the planet of its very essence, the life stream, and processed it for industry as Mako. Our world was dying, and so few could hear her cries for mercy. Those who could rose up in her defense. The anti-Shinra rebels, Avalanche. Among them, Cloud Strife, an ex-soldier hired by the Resistance to destroy Reactor 1. In Sector 8, amidst the aftermath of the attack, Cloud met a flower seller named Aerith. She offered him a yellow blossom. One said to symbolize reunion. And thus was destiny set in motion. With Reactor 1 gone, Avalanche set their sights on Mako Reactor 5. Unfortunately, they were playing right into Shinra's hands. The company was able to draw the wool over the people's eyes. And in the end, destroyed Sector 7, killing thousands and laying the blame at Avalanche's feet. Though dear friends were lost, Avalanche had no time to grieve. Aerith had struck a deal with Shinra, who took her into custody. With her capture, Shinra's obsession was within reach. The fabled Promised Land. For Aerith was the last of the Setra, the ancient stewards of the planet. And only she could guide them to Paradise. To save her, the team infiltrated the Shinra building, the company's beating heart. It was here that I, another prisoner, joined their story and assisted them in freeing Aerith. Yet during our flight, we came face to face with a man thought dead. The vaunted war hero, Sephiroth. Before he could be stopped, Cloud's foe fled with the corpse of Genova, the cataclysm from the stars and the catalyst of our plight. Eventually, we too made good our escape. Pursuing troopers defeated, we race toward Midgar's edge. Yet Sephiroth once again intervened. Suddenly, deafening screams rent the air. Whispers, the arbiters of fate, descended upon the city. Before their imposing wall, Aerith warned us. This was Destiny's crossroads. Every moment, every action, every step taken had all been as the Whispers willed it. To fight them was to break free. On the other side of fate, Sephiroth waited, the Whispers undulating within him. Cloud brought his blade down upon his rival, sundering destiny. But the fight won, and the shackles of destiny broken. We stood before the unknown, a world of boundless freedom. It was there, beyond where fate could follow, that a new journey began.
is great! Apony, the best of the best. Don't you think I know that? There's something on your mind. Just say it. The day I fell, I just... I got overconfident. Figured I had the race in the bag. I started thinking about all the ways I was gonna spend the prize money. I wasn't focused. But when I was rounding the final corner, Apony and I, we got out of sync. Before I knew it, I was in the dirt. Apony jumped in front to try and protect me. And because of that, she got herself hurt. <laughs> so I... I just can't get back in the saddle. I can't. What if I hurt her again? I'd never forgive myself. <laughs> You're up, Mr. Merc. Put those chocobo interpreting skills to work. Huh? It was a terrible accident, but we've learned from that experience and can grow as Chocobo and Ryder and strive to not repeat past mistakes. Once we've healed Shani, let's race together again. You got that? Apony. shape. Until then, mind looking after her for me? Uh, you serious? Well, yeah. She still needs exercise, and I won't be able to take her out for a while. I'd feel better knowing she's in the hands of a rider I can trust. <laughs> I'm sorry for making you worry, Mom. I promise I won't give up. Not again. <sighs> That's all I wanted to hear. Be warned, when I'm healed up, you're going down. <laughs> Bring it on!
I've been meaning to ask you something. You said old Sephiroth's come back from the dead, right? And that that's a bad thing. So, what I want to know is, how do they do it? And what's he after? He wants to save the planet. But, wouldn't that make him a good guy? It's not what he's doing, but how. He doesn't give a shit if everyone dies in the process. Sounds like a that wasn't so bad. One that's really kept me here time and time again. Bunch of assholes who won't stop till they fled the planet dry. Seven. Hmm? To hit them where it hurts, we'll need to leverage those connections of yours. But if you even think about stats. Sacred sanctuary where the planet's greatest minds gather. It's beautiful. More than I ever imagined. Come on, let's pick up the pace. I can hear it calling my name. Yeah, me too. ship dropped these on us this morning. Wanted posters of the terrorists who bombed those reactors. Hmm. Huh. But I think we can say you had nothing to do with all that. Even if Nanaki hadn't vouched for you, it's obvious. <sighs> Welcome to the Sanctum of Planetology. Cosmo Canyon. That wow. You see that wanted poster? Pictures look nothing like us. Must be that way for a reason. Gotta keep on our toes. here, in this canyon. I was to become a Watcher of the Veil like those before me, until I was taken by Shinra. Now that I'm home, and have repaid my debt to you, I plan to serve my village once more. I appreciate all that you've done for me. Thank you. 
We're really gonna miss you, Red. Oh, don't say that. You're only making this harder. I mean, I wish we had more time, but this is my duty. I suppose it was your duty to act the old man. I wanted you to treat me as an equal, not a dog. Not a pig! Is that you, my boy? Coming! So, was that goodbye? Nah, I'm sure we'll see him around the canyon. The real question is, why'd we come here? To learn the secrets of planetology! Come on! Can't forget that materia! As for me... Ah, that'll do. I'm gonna steal some shut eye if you don't mind. Then we can see the sights. Feel the energy all around you. It rides the at our very core. The bonfire symbolizes. Welcome to Planetology's house, traveler. You've more than a passing interest in Queen's blood. It has bewitched you. Be at ease. It is only natural to hear its call. Queen's blood is of the planet and for the planet. It, like all things, is part of the great cycle that connects us. Indeed, each and every card holds within it a greater purpose. One that belies their form. Come, join me in a match that you too may glimpse the truth of our great mother.
turn I did not expect. Which confirms my fears. A strange, wicked power comes out of the life stream. And a similar dark energy has corrupted Queen's blood. Be careful. The game's pleasures belie the thorns beneath that will bleed you slowly and surely. Many devotees have succumbed to the darkness of which I spoke. Too many. Remember, the cards are a link between us and the planet. If you are in trouble, reach out. She shall answer. Oh, great mother, hear my prayer. Watch over your son. Congratulations! You have attained the rank of Blood Captain. Cloud! Wise, the AI you met on the ferry, has undergone a software update. It presently resides in the Dust Bowl. I advise you to challenge it and gauge its new and improved capabilities. our very first catch of the day, folks. We have ourselves a challenger. Hello, sir. Care to tell the folks at home who you are? Ha ha ha. Could this shark be more of a guppy? Well, I spy a row of razor sharp teeth in this little fishy's maw. You might be the QB killer we've been waiting for, but there's only one way to find out. That's right, our audience doesn't want to hear commentary, they want to see blood! To up the ante, our challenger's opponent will be none other than your host with the most, me, Bernard!
Talk about carnage, am I right? I'm lucky I got out of that match with my limbs intact. Today's shark is a ferocious man-eating menace. He made a serious splash with some ruthless moves. Players the world over have got to be shaken in their boots. Something tells me this beast is about to upset the QB food chain. Better start swimming. Congratulations to you, sir, for an incredible match. Though we found the canyon's resident shark, the fun never ends on this show. Stay tuned because we've got more coming your way. of mindful breathing. My precious material, where are you? No need to be shy, come out. Yuffie's gonna take you home. Visualize the Tell me, is it better to spread the teachings of planetology? Within you all. <laughs> Fancy running into you here. Say, how about I get a shot of you giving thanks to the planet? The canyon's also famous for its unparalleled view of the starry night sky. I made sure to bring all my night photography equipment along. Can't sleep until I've got the perfect starlit shot. Just let me know if you find any good photo spots. Not so fast. Sorry, but visitors aren't allowed in here. You see, this is where we keep all our valuables. Oh, these are the friends I was talking about. Thank you for looking after my monkey. My name is Wolkenhagen. I teach planetology here in the canyon. One could say I know a thing or two about our world. A thing or two? I doubt there's a thing or two you don't know about it. <laughs> well, it might seem that way to a child like yourself. I'm not a child anymore. I'm 48. 40 what? <laughs> Nanaki here has a long life ahead of him. In human terms, I would say he's about 15 or 16 years old. That's more than old enough. I can protect our Vale and everyone in it. Which is more than I can say for my good-for-nothing father. Oh. <laughs> Speaking of the members of our little community, have you announced your return to one and all, Nanaki? Not yet. Be right back. Hmm. <laughs> but where are my manners? Please, come in and have a look around. devices piqued your curiosity. They are essential to my studies of the planet. I never thought you could become even more enchanting. While that may appear to be little more than a glistening mineral at a glance, it is in fact a crystallized collection of our planet's memories. That 
It's a scale model of our planet and the surrounding stars. One could say the dust it's collected represents the people who live upon it. Those devices are testing the pull of gravity. Here we seek to gather the wisdom of the planet. We've all been worried sick about Malachi, fellow Bugenhagen chiefly among us. Do <laughs> you recognize that little scamp? I'll have you know that in his childhood, Nanaki was quite a handful. That is one of the first Marco detectors ever built. I suspect it can't detect much now. <laughs> Let's not be hasty. I'll show you that room later. Stars have taught us countless lessons over the years. records fluctuations in various energies. I must ask that you handle it with care. It's a rather delicate device, you see. Seek to gather the wisdom of the planet. Deaths of your beauty cross my heart. We've all been worried sick about Nanaki, fellow Bugenhagen chiefly among us. Nanaki never had much exposure to the outside world. I can only hope his travels with you have served to enlighten him. <laughs> <laughs> 